my first months here have been just just more rehab, you know. I'm trying to get to know the guys, uh, get accustomed to the system and whatnot, do as much as I can on top of the rehab, like find my way to fit into the culture. All right, Pistons fans, so on today's video, we need to talk about Chris Smith and the Detroit Pistons may be done with Chris Smith. Before we continue, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 170 likes. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I drop consistent Pistons content. Now play the intro. Subscribe to Joe Polo 10. All right, so let's start it off, man. Put the image on the screen right now. It says, the Detroit Pistons will waive Chris Smith in order to make room to sign Carson Edwards via James Edwards III. Now, honestly, this kind of does suck because I was fairly high on Chris Smith. I thought he did have some upside and could be, you know, a small little piece for the Pistons in the future. So it does suck to see him go like this. You know, especially with him being one of those guys on that UCLA team back in college. You know, he played with Johnny Druzang, who's another guy who I have a lot of high hopes for if he decides to come out um, in this year's draft. You know, seeing those two guys at UCLA in college and then seeing Chris Smith come to the Pistons, I was just happy to see that. But obviously, as we all know, he had that major injury, which kept him out for a long time. But then eventually he got healthy. We got to see him make his G League debut. And then around one to two months ago, you know, we had Dwayne Casey come out and said, we we're going to see Isaiah Livers and Chris Smith. Wanted to integrate both of those guys into the offense and the Pistons main roster. I was looking forward to seeing both of those guys. We've gotten to see Isaiah Livers. I've been very pleased by the, you know, small sample size that we've seen him so far this season. But Chris Smith, we didn't get to see him at all. And then, unfortunately, he had to undergo ACL surgery, which completely ended this season for him. Then the Pistons became interested in adding Carson Edwards. In order to bring him to the team, we had to create space. And unfortunately, Chris Smith was the odd man out. Now, I am hoping that this is a Dervidas Servitas type of situation. And if you don't know what I mean by that is, Dervidas Servitas is a guy who the Pistons ended up taking in the second round. I believe he was in the 2019 NBA draft. And the Pistons, we had him on the roster, but then we decided to waive him. And then we all thought it was over for Servitas. But then eventually the Pistons re-signed him, brought him back, and then just threw him in the G League. So I'm hoping that that's the same type of situation that's going to happen here with Chris Smith. I'm hoping that they just let him go so that we can create space to have someone like Carson Edwards, see what he can do, but then eventually somewhere down the line, bring back Chris Smith and have him play in the G League. That's what I'm hoping for. But if this is the end for Chris Smith, with the Detroit Pistons, I wish him the best of luck. And mainly, I just want the man to stay healthy. You know, he's a very talented basketball player. I believe he has a lot of ability and a lot of skill that he needs to tap into, but you can't really train, you can't improve when you're hurt all the time. And unfortunately for him, you know, he's had to undergo surgery multiple times and he's just been away from basketball, which is unfortunate, man. So I just want to say that I hope he gets healthy so that eventually somewhere down the line, even if it's not on the Pistons, he can find a spot on someone else's NBA team. He's 22 years old right now. He's six feet nine and is still young enough to where I feel like he can bounce back eventually. So I'm hoping that everything works out for him. Now, as far as the Pistons go, this is not the biggest loss for us. You know, especially at that four position, we have Isaiah Livers, we have Jeremy Grant, we have Sadiq Bey, and then we have a top pick coming up in this draft, which could possibly be Paolo, it could be Chet, it could be Jabari. We could easily, you know, get a top power forward of the future who will be much better than Chris Smith. So as far as how this affects the Pistons, I believe that this won't hurt us too much because we already have guys on this roster who can fill out that power forward or small forward position. And then in the future, we can also add someone in the draft. And then in free agency, we have the top projected cap space this coming off season. So if they wanted to get another small forward or power forward, we could just add one then as well so that's basically everything pistons fans let me know your thoughts about this whole situation in the comment section below like this video comment on this video share this video thank y'all for 5k and i'm out <laughs>